Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm here with Brooklyn. Hi! And we're going to show you how to do what we're calling the CGH Banded Puff Braid. Now, I was sent this idea from a friend of mine from way back in high school, so thank you Alicia for this idea because it's fantastic. Okay, today we're starting with straight hair just because this is what Brooklyn had in her hair yesterday. So if you have some curl or some wave, that's going to work too. We're going to take a section of hair from each side and we're kind of going, you can see, we kind of just scooped a little bit behind the ear and went up towards the front of the head. Now the trick on the very top piece is that you don't want to pull hair that's up so far that when you pull it back, it's going to start falling up into the hair. Like I can see right now just by doing this, that this top piece might. So I'm actually going to go back and drop that little section and only use this front part. Do you see how it just lays a little tighter and flatter against the head? That's what you're looking for here because when you do the first little movement with the hair, that becomes an issue. So I'm going to take my two pieces and I'm going to just pull them back and right to the back center of the head and I'm going to secure it with an elastic. So we have our first section all done now. We want it to sit nice and tight against the head. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit right there. And if you need to add a little bit of hairspray or some spray wax into these pieces as you go along, you can do that too. Brooklyn does have a tendency her hair to get just a little bit fuzzy, so you might see me spraying a little as we go along. Now I'm going to go back and pick up another piece. Same idea. Kind of, this one doesn't matter as much on the top because it's not going to have the same problem as the top piece. So I'm just going to grab a section here, grab a little section here, roughly about even, and I'm going to go right on top of that first, that first elastic and do a second. You may need to stop and as you go along just make sure that you're not catching hairs from this first section into the elastic from the second section. Anything like that is fine. Now here's where you start your tricky stuff. You're going to reach underneath and give that first section a little push upward and go ahead and pull that whole bottom piece out. Now I'm going to go back and kind of comb the hair down make sure it stays flat. Now I'm going to take, this was our second one. I'm going to take this second one and go ahead and give it a little shove so it's going up underneath our first section and I'm going to pull it through so now it's laying on top. We basically switched them places and I'm going to loosen up this top one just a little tiny bit and I'm going to tighten up the bottom one. Hey, And then we're going to go back and get some more hair. And from this point on, honestly, all you're doing is repeating exactly what you've just done. So we're going to take some hair. You can see how it can start to get a little fuzzy and fly away-ish. So like I said, as you go, if you need to smooth with some hairspray or some spray wax, you can. You can always go back and work these little pieces back in, so don't stress too much as you go along. Take another elastic. Put it right over the top. you didn't catch any of the other hair. Okay, so same idea. We're going to take this one, the top section at this point, we're going to pull that out. Make sure these all lay flat. And now we're going to take our third section all the way up through, push it through, and pull the ends out. And there you go, your next section. Now I know you're thinking this is looking really strange and not at all pretty because that's what I think every time I do this, but don't panic just yet. We're going to start another section. So pick up hair on either side. Go ahead and pull it over and add an elastic. And again, try to keep them from catching each other's hair. 
You're gonna take the one that's right underneath and pull it out. And if you need to, you can pull the elastic down a little bit to give you a little bit more space to work with. You're gonna take the piece that you just created and go up and through. And down. Okay, after this one, you can start to see that we're creating like little outside edges right here and here. I'm gonna go back and just tug on this outside edge and pancake it a little bit and go back into this little tiny top bubble and give it a tug as well. So we're just starting to puff as we go along. I'm gonna go grab some more pieces and of course elastic it again. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the bottom part from here. Loosen this up if needed. And slide this one through. And again, you can see, I have one little hair popping out right there. Let's fix that. You can see we've created another ridge <clears throat> of edges. So we're gonna go back, puff that edge. And in the center, I'm gonna grab those two give them a pull as well. Okay, I'm going to loosen that up a little bit and tighten this one. Now grab our next two pieces. When you get to the end, you can just secure it all together with one more elastic at the bottom. So it just gives you a spot. And then I'm going to add a cute little bow to hers. You can add a ribbon or whatever other accessories you want. I think the bow looks cute. And then you can just go back and fluff and pull wherever you want to add to the dynamics of the braid, the texture of the braid. So you can just play with it until you like it, and then you're done. Okay, here's the final product. Do, do, do. So pretty, look at all that texture, and oh, it's so fun. You could even braid this up and wrap it up underneath and have like a really cool updo version. This is a great one. Ta-da! Okay, so if you guys haven't checked it out over on Brooklyn and Bailey's channel, we finally did a Meet My Brother video with Daxton. Some of you guys were asking for it. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. We'll put a link up here and in the description box below so you can find it and give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys, bye. gonna relax that whole top section too so that it almost just looks like the braid goes right into the fishtail which is kind of a fun look so you can just Mama, who's your favorite in the CGH family and yeah. I know it would be Daxton. And he knows you're all going to comment Daxton. So he's watching those comments. Bye. And I will also s s watch the comments. He's watching the comments. So make sure you comment Daxton. <laughs> oh yeah, Bye, guys. you're going to be disqualified. <laughs>